Today we're going to show you how to install a Dreamline sliding glass shower door. Yep, and if you haven't seen any of my other videos yet, I do have an install video for the Dreamline shower pan. It's an acrylic pan that allows for one of these glass sliding doors. All of this is part of a cabin flip that we're doing in Beach Mountain, 100% of the work without hiring things out. Actually, we did hire a small portion out just recently, but most of it is just one giant DIY project. So head over to my channel, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if it provided value to you, and let's get into this. Let's do it. Here we go. Like I said, I have another video on how to actually install a pan just like this. So if you don't have a pan to put a door on, you need to start there. And I'll have that video linked right up here. This is where I'm starting. I have the shower pan fully installed. I have all of the walls tiled and grouted and the entire shower is done and ready to go. The first step is to measure the width of your shower at the top and bottom and purchase a door that fits. Then you want to write these measurements down and follow the instructions on how much you should cut off. It is also important to note that the bottom rail will need to be cut equally from both ends because the sliding door divider should be centered at the base later on. I'm using painter's tape here because it's easy to write my cut line on, but I'll be removing just over an inch off of each side from my shower base rail. As the instructions state, you measure the top, which are in our case is 58 inches, and then you subtract 1 16th from that. And again, I'm just using painter's tape because it's easier to write on, but for the top rail, you only need to cut one side off. You ready to cut? All right, so we are gonna use some tub and tile or kitchen and bath caulk um, for our project to adhere the shower rails to the pan and tile. Um, if you haven't seen our other videos, um, the caulk gun, there's actually a hole that you can stick this through to cut the tip of the tube. And then there's also a little spindly thing that you can stick through it to kind of get things moving. Um, so just a quick tip for you. This is the bottom rail bracket and it has these two channels in it which keeps the glass doors separated and on their own tracks. This doesn't screw all the way into the pan, just onto the bottom track. It also includes a couple of black plastic caps to plug the holes and gives this thing a streamlined look. Dreamline is streamline. This little bracket goes up the sidewall rails and make note of which way the screw is inserted. It needs to go through the larger hole so the head of the screw goes all the way into the inside of this bracket. Then look at the face of the bracket and look at which side has the beveled holes. This will be the side you want facing towards your shower because it will fit a screw head flushly. The other side should be flush with your tile wall. So then you just want to screw this bracket onto the top of your wall rail. Now we began leveling this rail and marking out our holes where we'll need to drill into the tile. So our Sharpie wouldn't fit, so we marked up the end of a toothpick and used the toothpick as a paintbrush to mark dots on our tile. And you'll need a special diamond tip bit for porcelain or ceramic tile, so be sure you plan ahead for that. Now here we go again with the overkill and the caulking, but we really want this thing to stay. The glass doors are quite heavy. This whole package was about 200 pounds. Then for the rail, you use the pan head screws, which are more of the flat screws. 
with this little bracket here. There's two brackets for each side wall to install, and by the way, I didn't show it, but you'll need to tap in sheet rock anchors into the pre-drilled holes, which those are included with the shower door. And now I repeat it for the other side of the wall. We are all ready for the door installation here. So find the ClearMax sticker. This should be facing inside the shower when it's all said and done. So mount the hardware accordingly. So the instructions like three or four times say, do not remove any of the bolts on these little brackets here but you literally have to remove the bolt to get the glass in between there, right? We're not magicians. <laughs> so you have to pop off this cover plate, which it also doesn't tell you to do, but you can just do it with your fingers there. And there's the bolt that you remove right, or that we removed right there. <laughs> Prop up one side of the rail with a piece of one inch board, and this will help get that door lifted above the shower floor and onto the rails in the track. I'm gonna finish up installing these wheelies and then we'll lift the doors up and onto the rails. First, we brought both doors under and inside the shower area. It'll all make sense as to why when you're doing this yourself, but if you install one door, you won't be able to fit the second door in behind it later. So both should be on your pan before you start hanging them. That actually took a lot more finagling than what I showed in the video, but <laughs> all that's left is really just caulking around the shower. I caulked both inside the shower and outside and really just made this whole thing completely waterproof. And I'm using white caulk in this shower and the other one I do end up using some clear caulk. Um, it's just preference, but that's all that's left. this Dreamline glass sliding shower door. Good job. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed it. Remember, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, head over to the playlist on this cabinet flip. I'll also be installing just a single panel Dreamline glass shower door that isn't sliding in the master bathroom. So check that video out right up here in the corner or down in the description or head over to my channel. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>